Meet Mansu Musa, the richest man to have ever lived. When asked about rich people, you probably think of Bill Gates, Rockefeller, Warren Buffett, Carlos Slim, or the Rothschild family. But according to historians, the richest man to have ever lived was an Islamic Malian king named Mansa Musa. Mansa meaning king. Mansa Musa ruled over the Malian Empire of Mali from 1312 till 1337 and caught the attention of Europeans and Arabs after his renown Hajj, Islamic pilgrimage, to Mecca in 1324. During this, Mansa Musa's fortune was estimated at $400 billion and caught the eye of many beyond the countries he visited. He was not afraid to give zakat to the poor and build houses and mosques on his way to Mecca. The then Malian Empire contained countries such as Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and Chad. This enormous empire stretched up to 2,000 miles from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to Lake Chad to the east of its borders. As a devoted Muslim, Mansa Musa prepared his pilgrimage soon after he took his position from Abu Bakri in 1312. During these preparations, which took years, Mansu Musa used the knowledge and resources from his rich land. Through Malian scholars who helped plan the pilgrimage, finally, in 1324, he took up to a thousand servants, some say 60,000 with him. They had more than 80 camels loaded with 300 pounds of gold and other needed goods with them for the trip of over 4,000 kilometers. Mansa Musa had 1,200 slaves with him, each carrying a golden adern staff. During his voyage, he stopped in the Egyptian cities, Alexandria and Cairo, where he attracted the Arabs and Europeans' interest. Due to his act of kindness, it is said that he gave away most of his gold to whom he met, especially to the poor on the streets of Cairo and Alexandria. But he also helped building mosques each Friday on his way to Mecca. His act of kindness was felt years later in Egypt. Soon, Mansur Musa was a known man in the Arab world and in Europe. There have been tales from the Italian merchants and Egyptians about the sub-Saharan African Muslim king who was loaded with gold. This earned Mansur Musa a spot on the maps drawn by Arabs and Europeans. One of these maps were the Italian map. Coming back home, Mansur Musa brought with him Arab scholars, architects and bureaucrats to help him build the historic building we now have in Gayo and Timbuktu. Timbuktu became a famous scholarly, cultural and flourishing trade city in these years. A city to which people from Europe, Asia and Northern Africa came to learn, trade and live. The legacy of these Arab Andalusian architects consists of a few masterpieces like the Jingu Erber Mosque, which is a part of the University of Timbuktu. It contains the Masjid of Sidi Yahya and Sankur. Other notable buildings are the Palace of Madagu and the University slash Masjid of Gao. As the amounts of Madaras and libraries grew together with the Islamic knowledge, at the same time, Islamic leaders and kingdoms increased the exchange of commerce, scholars, and poets. This made Timbuktu the center of Islamic studies and trade in Sub-Sahara Africa. After Mansu Musa's death in 1337, his son Maghan I became Mansa. But his rule did not last as long. Attacks from Morocco and the Kingdom of Songhai soon meant the downfall of this great Islamic kingdom. <laughs> وتطلب نفس له طاعة